My name is Rick. I'm the Vice President of Engineering for the platform team at InfluxDB, and I'm here with Barbara to talk about Ingest. Hi, I'm Barbara. I'm the VP of Application Engineering at Influx Data. Okay, so we're really talking about data ingest, right? Can you just give us an overview of the domain of data ingest? Sure. So there's a lot of focus on InfluxDB, our time series database, but one of the fundamental questions is, well, how do I get all my data into InfluxDB? And so I talk about devices as just as being the sources of the data, the sources of these time series metrics. And they're not all little devices. They could be. It's a heart rate monitor. Um, it's you know something measuring your blood pressure. But it could also be a very large device. It could be an oil rig. Um, we have a customer who has ferries in Australia that gather all sorts of time series metrics. So the device is just really the data source. And one common case is the device sends data directly to InfluxDB whether it's in the cloud or open source. That's a common approach. Uh, another approach that developers can often choose is that they build a gateway. So as part of their application, their device may write to their gateway, and then in their gateway, they may do extra annotation, they may do some processing, some filtering, and then it goes from the gateway to InfluxDB. And then one other important consideration is the devices, we often think of them as if they're out at the edge, and they often are out at the edge, but they can also be in the cloud, or you can have some other mechanism that has gotten the data to the cloud, in which case you're sending data directly from your cloud instance to InfluxDB in the cloud. Got it, okay. So as an application developer, do you give me any options or tools to help me write from here or from my gateway into Influx? Absolutely. So the simplest approach that a lot of people use is we actually expose a REST API directly in front of InfluxDB. So you can call that and it'll write the data directly into our cloud. But that expects you to know a fair amount about the format of the data that we need for it to be safely stored in the InfluxDB. So we also have a bunch of client libraries, which will hide a lot of those details. You just call the client library directly in your application. It takes care of what's needed to get the data up. And we've got client libraries in 12 different languages. So odds are we've got one that suits your needs. Uh, Another solution we have, which is a very powerful, very flexible solution, is actually Telegraph. So Telegraph is an agent-based solution for pipelining metrics from many different input formats to many different outputs. So you can use Telegraph, run that agent, either run it out on the device or run it in the gateway, and it will take the data in whatever form or whatever protocol it's arriving in, transform it to what we need, and then send in it up to InfluxDB. Okay, so you mentioned transforms. Can you tell me more about? Yeah, because that is actually a really important part of the job of taking data from whatever its native format is over whatever native protocol it speaks to what we expect. And so we've got a ton of different processor plugins and we've logic in the input plugins to do that transformation. So for example, if your data source is MQTT, we know how to speak the MQTT protocol to get the MQTT event, we also have a way for you to configure a transformation that will turn it from the MQTT format into what we expect in the cloud. Okay, but now you're talking about MQTT data, you're talking about ferries, you're talking about oil rigs. Sometimes the time series data can be voluminous, like a lot of data. Do all these ingest methods, are they able to handle all that scale of data? Yes, they're all designed with very large scale in mind. The telegraph agent can um, batch data up to send it more efficiently. If there's a problem with connectivity, like the ferry is out in the middle of the ocean, um, then it can batch it and wait until it gets connectivity. The client libraries also have intelligence to back off. If there's a delay in sending to the cloud, they can hold on to the data to send it up later. So yes, all of our software gives you uh, a way to manage that pipeline of volume data in, because we, that's what we expect. There's huge volumes of data flowing into InfluxDB. Great, okay, thanks. That is an overview of data ingest for InfluxDB. We hope you found this useful and we can't wait to see what you build.